lovely viewers this is ed varieties once again you know today miss trudy did something again so we are here to discuss about it you know she tried visiting the sister-in-law and as they got there we realized that the sister-in-law was preparing something in the kitchen so we are about to break it down from kitchen to frying pan to fire everything Woo! so let's, let's watch the video and get back it's changing Wait, okay. Ghanaian men, are you learning? I, do you think you can be more open to women just, you know, cooking less or for a Ghanaian man? Is food everything? And is it just Ghanaian men or is it just African men in general? I don't think Kenyan. <laughs> let me not speak for you guys. <laughs> Kenyan men the same way. Um, but let's have a conversation. I'd like to know. At this point, I'm just making these things the way we make ugali. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Yes, you are. But make sure it doesn't run. Okay, guys, now we are about to blend our vegetables. We put the pepper, the garlic, the onions. Oh, not the pepper. Oh, we did, yes. Yeah, yeah pepper, pepper, garlic, and onions. Are we adding anything else? Um, the no. tomatoes? No, no, later. Okay. Do you okay. guys cook any meal like this in the States? Yeah, mashed potatoes. Um, uh, that's not really hard like this, is it? No, no, if you make them from scratch. I make my eye, when I cook, I make everything from scratch, right? Okay. But you can buy them in a box. Like you can buy fufu in a box, right? Okay. But it's not the same as if you make it yourself. Okay. So mashed potatoes, you have to peel it. You have to slice them well. You have to mash them. Um, yeah. But what I find too, though, like this is a little bit, this is a lot heavier mm. than mashed potatoes. Like you need to, it's a good thing I work it's out. Exercise, yeah, yeah. it's exercise. I, I, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Yes, that's 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 Ghanaian thing for you. Fufu is hard. Mm-hmm. Rice ball is hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so welcome back viewers, you know. Mm. So mommy, how's the video? Mm. What do you have to say? Miss Trudy, I give you kudos because she's really trying to learn a lot of things. Although she was not in the uh, she did not do the preparation because okay. as I watched the video, well, mm. she was not the one cooking. I uh, think they just tried this. Yes, mm. but then, um, if she were to cook, mm. I think the pepper would the pepper them gang Yeah, yeah. They, they, but they, this they, time <laughs> they would have risen again. <laughs> Yeah, even this one cried. It wasn't easy for her, you know. She really struggled, yeah. <laughs> By the way, she heard it, this thing cry, no? the so way she what, was fighting what, with the food. What was the food? Fanti, fanti, and etu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's etu, etu. like it's the uh, the condo mixed with the cassava dough. Mm. The one that we most of the accounts call it banku. Mm. Yeah. So the fanti side, they call it etu. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, etu. They mix the condo and the cassava dough together and. Yeah, I think cool. the way they bonded, I was so much happy. It was nice. To oh, yeah, so beautiful. Mm. Bonding like a family. And then yeah, I also saw that the sister in law, too, was someone who truly loved yeah. Miss Trudy. Yeah, yeah. And then the way she prepared the whole thing, I mm. think, will give her mm. a, 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 a 10 over 10, mm. I think. And but she was very hospitable. Yes. And and as they were going, they went along with Wodomaya's friend from America as well. Yeah, yeah. that lady. So it was uh, uh, about, how would I say it? Like a Kenya, a Ghanaian, an American. An American. But that I, came I, I together, think she's 50. Uh, uh, that yeah. came together to do what? To cook the yeah. food. So one yeah. kitchen, th three tribes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> then, Different culture. Oh, okay. It's oh, beautiful okay. to watch. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So uh what she prepared was yummy but then i think they struggled oh, very with the very etu. especially trudy and uh miss trudy and the american yeah, yeah friend yeah no you know cooking at you or banku or whatever it's not for lazy as people. i was watching every hour like i was like <laughs> should we should we organize a competition because you no they can't tell me one hand <laughs> nah, they shouldn't try no it's not at all not at all i mean the, the way they heard it I don't know. Would I, would I call it spatula or whatever? <laughs> the way they were telling it, she, she was struggling and fighting with the food. And I was like, wow. Yeah. I, I can do it better than her. Yeah. <laughs> but she's trying her best. She's uh, trying her best. Unusual Fina will say that mm. this penny of a swallow is not for uh, the, uh, the small people. Yeah. So, so only the strongest shall survive. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the Americans struggle to turn it and. 
uh, you need that energy to do it. Yeah, all. definitely. Yeah. By the so, time you finish cooking, then you are healthy. You so, are physically fit. Yeah. <laughs> again, I've learned something again from there. Okay. Uh, many a times we confuse the fishes. Mm. You know, she used tilapia and yeah, then mackerel. Mackerel. Then okay. she said it was tuna, but it wasn't tuna. Okay. Uh -huh. so she added the uh, mackerel and so she combined the two fishes mm. and and I know the fanties they cook well. Oh yeah, definitely. And so the food was delicious. They added this kako. Kako, kako okay. yeah. Kako, that is the dried yeah. uh, fish. And it's salted. Yeah, mm. and salted dried fish. Kako, very, very hard. Yeah. But very sweet. Yeah, it, it makes the food more yeah. Yeah, tasty and it gives I it think, an aroma. I, I think the fanties love that because when I went to Takwa okay. uh, Way back. for a wedding mm. and then they prepare some fufu for us. They use groundnut, they use meat, mm. fresh this thing and they added the same so were you, were you able to bring back oh! some gold from uh, Takwa because <laughs> there are so many gold mines over there so yeah, you should have if, brought some if gold you want back. gold you come so looking at the whole preparation of the meal i i cherish oh, okay. it so much they did so well oh, yeah. but yeah. i'm happy trudy is learning uh -huh. i thought she was going to take she's really charge. blending into the Ghanaian yeah. culture you know she will take charge of everything mm. but she couldn't, she was there, she learned, she observed. At the end of the day, uh, we had a nice... And in fact, she loves Takarabi. Yes. She loves Takarabi, the West Side City. Mm. something, when I listened to their conversation, I realized that uh, Trudy's in-law, sister-in-law yeah. was saying that uh, Ghanaian men, they really cherish good food. What do you think? Do you love good food? Oh yeah, Ghanaian men, what I notice is we Ghanaian men... I'm not yet married, but yeah, I, I'll count myself as a Ghanaian man. Yeah, I'm a man, yeah, I'm growing up. So, yeah, we always like new food every day. Hey, mm, it's we like good, good food, and yeah, like every day, like, as we eat, uh, excuse me, as they eat the banku, maybe the next day they wouldn't repeat such food, maybe different soup, soup, soup yeah. yeah. So, so as I was saying, as a Ghanaian husband, I came back from work so tired, and he went to buy fast food outside for me. I wouldn't be happy. I need something fresh. So you know? in there we say kuvia bolo, meaning uh, lazy man's food. Okay. Uh -huh. So there are some wives each morning they will just give money to their kids to go and buy. They will go and buy whatever food, street food, and bring back home. Ghanaians do not love that. No, we don't. Yes. We don't, yeah. And so if you are not a capable wife, you cannot be cooking every day. You get tired. Cooking is stressful. Like. Uh, Miss Trudy said, the whole process is stressful. So you men should be giving us the kudos whilst we do all that for you. Yes, because but Ghanaian... Let me, let me clap for you. Yes, Ghanaian mm. food is involving. Yes, it's so involving. It's Grinding nice. pepper, doing this, then the banku of fufu. Look at how they were struggling. Yes, yeah. they struggle with all their fine nails but and they are all not, that. They are not much experience. That's why they struggle. Yes, yeah. so it's true. But they learn. Yeah, they are doing well. They learn, and so everybody in Ghana uh, who has a husband, mm. all ladies in Ghana who has husband, they 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 need new food every day, new food every day. Mm. So even if it's palm nut soup, you eat with fufu. The next day, it shouldn't, it should, it shouldn't be the same mm. thing. So it means every day of your life you are cooking, and you have to cherish that woman. Yeah. I think that is why. Udema was give uh, gave his wife uh, is it ten over ten or yeah. a hundred over ten? <laughs> so yeah, it's a source of balancing your diet as well as you are changing the food every day too. You're yeah, balancing it as well. Yeah, so, so you can't cook Ghanaian food without sweating. They were all sweating. Definitely, <laughs> mm. you have to sweat. <laughs> and so. The funny, the, the, the whole highlight for me was the American lady oh. battling with the tenure of the yeah. Etu. Yeah, it was Miss Trudy. <laughs> she was the one who was struggling. Mm. She, was, she was just uh, turning it one way, one way, because it's not easy. If you turn it like that, no, she doesn't, she doesn't have enough muscles, so I understand. <laughs> Don't take so, Udemaya, please help give us 
more muscles yeah, on your wife you, so uh, that you keep on going to the gym more uh, and get more muscles so that you can be preparing the mango for you every day. Yeah, so, so, mm. so it was a joy and it was full of fun having different cultures in the kitchen. So it has also given me a challenge that I should go and look for some culture, different cultures yeah, like yeah, then, three then, or four. Then why, why, why shouldn't we just go to Efiokuma? Takura, and visit them. All right. Yeah. So let's go. Into the Maya. Into the Ayeba or Ayeba Ati. I record do at us. So viewers, this is all we bring yeah. to you. Miss Trudy is doing very well, trying to learn almost all the Ghanaian food so that she will be that capable wife who will be able to serve as husband with what delicious meals that he cherish from his home so let's all learn from them you can marry from elsewhere different cultures but once you love the man you do whatever it is to give that man good food and the man will cherish you and no woman will ever take that man from you so so we we'll see you in our next video we say bye bye